Hey, it's Calipigeon Feature here, aka Cali, and I just wanted to do a quick how-to video on how to get uh, budget cast and damage taken started and the absolute bare minimum that you need to get going. So I'm going to go over every gear piece one by one that you need, and um, I also made a better trading folder for it. So if you um, Google PUE better trading, it's a Google extension, you just got to add it. And then um, I'll give you the code and you can just literally search, e search each item that's already uh, pre-registered and that'll be a lot faster to get your gear. And um, all credit actually goes to uh, Zhou I've literally found this YouTube video the other day and I've copied it like item for item and it's been working great. So uh, they have their own PUB too and that's what we'll be going off of. So yeah, let's get started. Um, <clears throat> for my gear... Obviously, on each piece, you want to also get res and dexterity and everything else you can, you know, extra damage. But I'm just going to go over the one thing that's required for each piece, too. So for your staff, all you need is plus three cold spell skill gems, uh, amulet, plus one cold skill gems, and an open prefix. That way you can craft the 6% damage taken recouped as mana that is required. Uh, you need two Heartbone Loop Rings with 420 physical damage taken on minion death, not 350. Has to be 420 for both. And um, your chest piece has to be Skin of the Lords. And then the keystone I have is Solipism. Um, it has to be a keystone that doesn't break your build, so make sure you like uh, search in your tree what keystone it is and make sure it doesn't break your build. And then um, for your helm, gloves, and boots, you just want as much ward as possible. Uh, res, dexterity, you know, all that. And then the belt, the one thing you need is 20% uh, increased cooldown recovery rate. So we need 27% total, so we get 20% from here. And you also want to search uh, the cooldown recovery rate with an open suffix, so that way you can craft increased flask effect duration. So I just did this, for example. So I bought this with 20% cooldown recovery rate for like 50C, and then it had an open suffix, and then I crafted on the 15% flask effect duration. Um, if you try to find it together, it's very expensive, so just craft it yourself. And then to get to 27%, um, we need to roll 5% increased cooldown recovery rate. You can either buy it on the boots, but it'll be more expensive if you do. I just rolled it, it took like 20. And then you need your last 2% in a jewel, so I just moved this to my abyssal belt here because I got one. But you just need 2% increased cooldown recovery rate, so that'll give you a total of 27%. And then you can just put that in your tree somewhere. And then I think that's it for... Oh no. For gear, there's also one last thing. To get the build started, you need a weapon swap. Um, any weapon in your backhand uh, with the mod trigger level 20 spectral spirits when equipped. That is required. Because that's how you um, get your build started every map. So you just got to armor swap and then your cast of damage taken starts. So, all right, <clears throat> let's uh, move on to the jewels here. So I just went over the first jewel. You need a jewel with 2% uh, cooldown recovery rate, so that's one. You can put that on your tree. And then you also need um, two or three uh, unique jewels, two dust, cobalt jewel. Uh, the important piece here is you need 34% reduced skeleton duration exactly. So I have two 17% and um, 18 and 16 would work. Or you can do three cheap jewels like uh, 12, 12, and 10. Um, you just have to have a total of 34% exactly. Alright, and then um, cluster jewels. Actually, let's do the brutal restraint first. So you also need a brutal restraint. Um, and it has to have Balbala at the end there. It can't be the other two. It has to be Balbala. And then if you just get the cheapest one, you can insert it right here and then get the trader. Or you can insert it up here and you can get the trader right here as well. Um, you technically could do it down here too and get Iron Grip. but um, So that'll allow you this build to function because the trader is the key component of this build. And then um, this will allow you to run one flask, just Orlovs. And uh, we'll get that to, that to that in a sec. And then the last uh, jewels here you need is just a regular large 8 passive cold uh, damage cluster. Widespread destruction is nice to have for extra res. These aren't required though, but it's nice to have. And then these you need two medium clusters, uh, 6 passives with 6% increased flask effect duration. It has to be 6 passives because we need as much flask effect duration as we can get. 
So it has to be six passive skills for both of these. And then it has to have fasting as well. And it can't have another notable. So it has to have fasting and four small. Fasting and four small. All right. And then um, I think that's it for jewels. Yes. And then flask. So to get this build started, if you just get the cheapest brutal restraint, you will be able to have just one flask, which is Olrof. Um, you're going to need 40 to 44%. Anything higher uh, probably won't work. So 44% um, is what I got. 40% is very expensive, so just try to get 44%. And then um, to get a second flask working, you need to um, anoint your amulet with Druidic Rite. But if you don't, you can just use one flask to get started right away. It's not a big deal. Um, Druidic Rite is a little expensive. I think it's one golden oil. Yeah, it's a little expensive. Not too bad. But um, once you get that, and then you need a max rolled 20%, 60% uh, reduced duration Kiaras, that can be your second flask, and then you should be able to get two flasks going. And then uh, to get the third flask going, it's a little more complicated. I can do a separate video on this, but basically you have to go to Google and find um, a Timeless Jewel calculator and uh, figure out what numbers um, provide good stats. So this one, 3174, provides great stats for me if it's located in this socket. And it also, it gives me... Um, 10% increased flash charges gained three separate times. So I get 30% increased flash charges gained. It allows me to get a third flask in. So that's how you do that. This one's a lot more expensive. I paid three div, and I think they're like five div now because this build's uh, been inflating a little bit. All right, and then lastly, we have gems. Uh, the only expensive required ones are uh, are anomalous summon skeletons. So uh, this right here, this has to be level 11 and at least 10% quality. Um, so I just bought an uncorrupted one, like level 20, because that was all that was sale at the time. And then I just did the scour recipe all the way down to level 11. And then the second one is anomalous minion speed support. The level does not matter on this one. Um, it has to be 20% quality, though, because we're looking for the reduced minion duration. And then um, the cast one damage takens, these have to be the exact level and in the right... Um, spot so you need two level 20s um there it is and then a level 18 which goes in the chest and a level 9 which either glows in one of your four link setups and um i can't stress this enough but you, they have to stay at that level and if you accidentally uh level it up too high instead of right clicking it to stop the leveling up uh it'll break the build so you just have to de-level it again all right and then um every other gem you can buy at level one and just level up yourself I didn't, though. I bought them all at level 20, and with some quality, if I could. Um, I had the money for it, so that's what I did. But you, technically, you could just buy every gem at level 1, too. And uh, to get the loop going, though, you, you need to have also Forbidden Right level 1. And it cannot be uh, higher than level 1. Um, so all this is also explained, too, in the PUB, if this is uh, too much. Um, if you go to the PUB that Jojo had on YouTube... Uh, under skill section, he's got everything you need. If you just get the gems, the quality doesn't matter for most of them, except for the ones I just talked about. But like, if you just get these exact gems and put them in the same order that he did, uh, it'll work. So that's what I did. I literally just went one by one, made sure I had it like perfectly. All right, and then um, that's really it. That's that should get you started. I do have a leveling tree. I uh, I did get this build started at level 75. Uh, technically, you could get it at 72. And um, I do, I did make a quick tree for that. And I'll also post this link too so you can have it. So I did not do Uber Lab, it's not required. Um, the only thing though is that you have to play with like your life and extra mana nodes to like balance out the ward right away. For some reason it like didn't work if I had too much life, so I had to like take some life nodes out and then it worked fine. So you just gotta play with it a little bit and just figure it out. There are calculators out there on the internet too on Google. I don't know how to use them that well though, so I just. Um, I just played with it myself until I got it working, but yeah, um, that should be it to get everything started. I'll just do a quick uh, showcase on how to start the flask. So every time you enter a map, uh, you literally just hit your flask first, and then righteous fire, and then you weapon swap, and then it'll get going on your first cast. Sometimes if it takes two or three casts, it's not quite there yet, so you gotta like adjust your life or manage just a little bit yet. And then uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. 
If you have any questions, feel free to drop by my stream at twitch.tv slash Calipigian Feature. I just started streaming, so I'm brand new to all this. But uh, I'll help anybody out who has uh, questions. I'll look at your PUB and everything. Um, or you can leave a comment on this YouTube video. I'll try to answer these as well. So that's it. Have a good one. Thanks.